So we're talking about breast anatomy and we're using our exam table as a illustration of the way the chest and the breast fascia is put together. If you look at this exam table, you'll notice that there's the support wooden structure below and this is like the rib cage that supports the chest and the overlying muscles and breast. And then this padding is very analogous to the pectoral muscle that's on top of the ribs. And this exam paper is also analogous to the deep fascia that covers the muscle. So come on in here and let's look at this pillow. Because the pillow shows you the same way that the breast is put together. Uh, it has two layers of superficial fascia that surround the breast. And if we looked inside the superficial fascia, what we call the anterior lamella fascia, and underneath by the chest, the posterior lamella fascia, you would see that there is a breast gland, what anatomists call the corpus mammae, inside of the pillowcase. And just like this pillow has a casing to it that keeps the foam part of the pillow separate from everything else, the breast has a casing. It's called the capsule, the capsule of the corpus mammae. But here's what's super interesting. It gets uh, even more specific with this analogy because what I've done in here is put some some uh, f cotton felt padding that's used for packing materials. But it illustrates that inside of the superficial fascia, on top and underneath of the corpus mammae, are insulation, insulating layers of fat. We call it the anterior lamella fat and the posterior lamella fat. And uh, uh, what we try to do when we do a mastectomy is remove the corpus mammae in its entirety here and try to preserve as much of the fat and the fascia as we can because that's what gives the breast shape and then we can reconstruct by uh, adding more fat grafting in here to replace the pillow that was removed. So now come in even closer and this analogy gets even way better because soft tissue in the body is really arranged in lamina or horizontal sheets stacked right on top of each other. And you see that in things like laminated dough, like uh, biscuits, uh, uh, but you also see it in this uh, felt cotton padding because it looks like it's one layer, but there's really horizontal layers and this is very much the way soft tissue is put together. It has these orientations of horizontal, but these little specks of cotton are like the little fat cells that are arranged in these horizontal sheets. And if you look, there's multiple layers here. And when we dissect, we happen to pick a pocket and that's where we, we dissect. And this is the same way that soft tissue is put together exactly. Uh, in the body, there's uh, vertically oriented uh, collagen uh, spires or spindles that come through uniting these horizontal layers so that they uh, don't shear and this particular product seems to have uh, some stickiness as well that keeps it from 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 sliding but this is very similar to the way the body's put together